Good morning and hello again indeed. I am JB. This is EMC TV's coverage from EMC World 2015. A very Thank active you. village already at 9 a.m. Tuesday, May 5th. I can't say May the 4th be with you anymore, but we'll continue <laughs> alongside Elizabeth and Cassie. We're joined now by Pat Gelsinger, CEO of VMware. Pat, thanks so much for is being with us. It's stupid to say good uh, morning, very exciting, uh, uh, exciting second day already. I came up with it myself. The beast was here for sure yesterday, <laughs> sort of kicked things off thematically for this being the whole week. Um, for you, you launched VMware's OneCloud, uh, any application, any device strategy earlier this year. Where are we with that? How excited is it? How, how has it been implemented? And what do you look forward to out of that? Yeah, you know, the, the vision is really a comprehensive one, really representing everything that we're doing and really building that layer of infrastructure software that allows one cloud, right, on and off premise, this whole notion of the hybrid cloud, any application, this bridge from the old world to the new, and almost every application is some composite of both of those operating together, and then being able to deliver that on any device, PCs, Macs, as well as all the mobile devices. And that vision, the comprehensiveness of it, you know, really has captured the industry's attention. You know, we put an exclamation point behind rolling out that vision with the biggest set of product announcements that we've ever done. You know, our new vSphere announcement, you know, we announced new versions of many of our products, you know, the new AirWatch announcement. You know, it was just like, wow, you know, what a kickoff to the year, and of course, many of our hybrid cloud announcements, you know, new features, hybrid networking, the new partnerships that we rolled out in Germany and Japan, as well as Australia. So it's really been quite an exciting start to the year. And, you know, for those of us at VMware, you know, we had just a period where we had five major events in 10 days. We called it 10 days of wonderfulness. So we, you know, coming into EMC world, I mean, a number of us have just been running like a flat out sprint for 26 miles. It's been quite the start of the year. And Pat, you mentioned AirWatch, and it's been a little bit over a year since that was acquired by VMware. How's that business doing? Oh, fabulous. And we were so pleased with how well, and you know, when you do an acquisition, and EMC has done lots of these, and mm -hmm. we've done them on the VMware side, you're just never quite sure. Right. I mean, you study them, you do diligence on them, you're trying to build the strategic fit, but always, is it going to work? And in this case, double thumbs up. I mean, it is just working. You know, the team has integrated well. You know, we've been able to accelerate their momentum in the marketplace. And, you know, essentially we've doubled the business year on year, you know, mm -hmm. which is really fabulous at this point. We've distanced ourselves from the rest of the industry players. You know, we had very good Q1. Everybody else had weak Q1s, right, in the, in the category. So it really is seeing that uh, separation in the industry and we're starting to roll out the integrations with the rest of the VMware and EMC products. And this is really starting to come together very nicely because we're seeing the real value of delivering that whole vision of end user computing, not just mobility, but the end user computing and the workspace suite, being able to connect it up to the infrastructure components, our storage components like Extreme IO and vSAN, connect it up to NSX for improved uh, security capabilities. Overall, it is just a great product line that really is a huge addition to you know, the overall Federation family. Absolutely. Uh, building out that moat in a way is uh, pretty fascinating. It's something we're pretty proud of. Now with cloud obviously being one of the hot topics here, we know there's a lot going on. Where are we with cloud? Where is VM with, with cloud? What is your relationship to the cloud at this point? <laughs> well, you know, everybody has to redefine themselves in the context of the mobile cloud future. Mm -hmm. Going from client server to mobile cloud. And as we're doing that, you know, obviously mobility with AirWatch, but cloud with our vCloud Air position, and uniquely building what we call the hybrid cloud. And the hybrid cloud is saying, you know, we can connect up the on and off premise in a unique and powerful way so that you have workload mobility, you're able to have use cases in the cloud that complement the infrastructure on premise, and being able to snap those together reinforces the value of everything that you've done, mm -hmm. right, Mr. IT, for the last three decades, but it combines it with everything you're going to do in the future and bringing that together in a powerful way. And the new announcements, the geographic reach, the new services like hybrid networking built on NSX, you know, really is starting to deliver that hybrid value in a powerful way. And that'll be a key point to my speech this morning. Okay. And, and with the networking virtualization offering NSX, um, are customers coming to VMware looking, looking for that capability? Yeah, it's really a, a, just a thrilling period in that respect. And I sort of liken NSX in 2015 to ESX in 2005, mm -hmm. right? It is that exciting, it is that transformational. And if you think about ESX, when we first started selling it in 2005, we'd go into an IT manager and it's like snake oil. 
right? You know, no way can you possibly, you know, turn those 10 physical servers into one sleek, optimized virtual server. Now we walk in and we say, we can do things in the virtual networking domain that you thought could only be done by physical switches, routers, and appliances in the past. Now we can do those in the software domain. And it's not just cheaper, faster, more elegant, more manageable, but it's also more secure. And that aspect of the security model that we can bring to network infrastructure or micro-segmentation, as we call it, has really captured industry attention. So the agility, the security, coming together, NSX, a truly powerful, game-changing technology for us. Uh, and it's no snake oil. I love that part of it as well. <laughs> now, before we line up, I know you have a lot of work to do ahead of, ahead of the day, and the schedule got you early in your schedule, which is great. Before you go, though, the cloud native announcement. What, yeah. we, what can you tell us about it thus far that, uh, that you don't reveal too much on, or what yeah. can we know about it and our audience might know? Yeah, and you can think about this. It's a little bit of a strip tease. You know, we're bringing, uh, you know, we're <laughs> announcing uh, pieces of technology, and we're going to do another set of announcements uh, uh, in a couple of weeks uh, at the uh, uh, DevCon or the Docker DevCon, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll also be doing others coming up on VMworld. So we're laying out the pieces of the strategy. But you know, what we announced were three open source technologies: one from Pivotal, uh, two from VMware. You know, that really allow us to start positioning the infrastructure investments that you've built but allowing us to capture the ability for people to do cloud native development in a secure way. We announced our, uh, you know, the uh, lightwave technology, you know, the identity and authentication technology that's container optimized. We announced the runtime environment from Pivotal with Lattice, and we announced this uh, lightweight container optimized Linux, the uh, Photon technology. And there was an IDC quote that just to me captured it so well, right? That's just said, you know, everybody who thought of VMware, right, as part of the legacy environment, think again, oh, yeah. right? And it really is seeing that we are repositioning all of the technologies that we do, the things we're doing in OpenStack, the things that we're doing in cloud native, to really say, yes, all of those investments are going to be carried forward into the mobile cloud world for the next generation of application development. It's quite exciting, the response has been great. Uh, I'm sure it has been, as we look uh, redefine next, such a big theme in that, it seems like VMware is right on target. Pat, I have to say, you set a high bar already. Strip tea, snake oil, Mr. IT, <laughs> and 10 days of wonderfulness. <laughs> the rest of the guests today have a lot to live up to. Pat, thanks Indeed. so much for being no, with thank us. Thank you so much, it's a always real, a pleasure. A real pleasure to be with you, and we got plenty more coming up. Uh,